Patterson, New Jersey, known as the Silk City, is working to spin the fabric of its future into something people will feel good about. It's a delicate balance, threading the needle between the reality of the city's blight and poverty and its potential as a tourist hub and dining destination. Patterson is a work in progress, and progress is a process. Mayor Andre Sea fashions himself as Patterson's biggest cheerleader. He took office in 2018. Two of my predecessors went to jail, so essentially what I had was a startup enterprise. I had to balance our budget, find new streams of revenue. Clearly, the police department had issues with rogue officers. Patterson is New Jersey's third largest city, home to Great Falls National Park, historic Hinchlip Stadium, and more than 50 distinct ethnic groups. It was founded in part by Alexander Hamilton as the first planned industrial city in the United States, producing everything from textiles and trains to beer and firearms. But by the 1980s, Patterson was one of the poorest cities in the country, and it's still working to rebound. As a result of disinvestment, the white flight, suburbanization, we never were really able to recover. Unlike Newark and Jersey City, Patterson hasn't seen a major economic renaissance. It lacks the large corporations of its counterparts, including Prudential and Panasonic in Newark and Citigroup and J.P. Morgan Chase in Jersey City. There are also fewer transit options and colleges. That brings a crowd of itself. So it brings people that want to come during their college career, but then they may stay and work as well. And you don't really see too much of that in Patterson, New Jersey itself. Sam Ashagi lives in Jersey City, graduated from NJIT in Newark, and frequents Patterson with her Sudanese family. Patterson actually has a lot of our culture and a lot of restaurants that kind of appeal to us there. So whether it's supermarkets, clothing stores, you want quick dessert or coffee or a full-blown meal with your family, you can find it in Patterson. And it's those small businesses, not necessarily the major corporations, that Saya wants to bring in. He envisions Patterson as a top-notch tourist destination for its diverse food and the falls. A river walk will open this September, just steps away from Hinchliff Stadium, part of a $100 million investment in Patterson's parks and fields. There are also plans for a visitor center and more. Just got the renderings for the corridor leading to the Great Falls, the gateway to the Great Falls, which would include restaurants, a brewery potentially, so that we could create a nightlife in the city. And that's what we've been missing out on being able to attract tourists to the city of Patterson. One of Patterson's newest businesses is Mo Cafe, a Yemeni coffee shop on Market Street. It's a great place to, to do business. I think Patterson's up and coming. A lot of middle class people over there. Perhaps the biggest business betting on Patterson's success is the Art Factory. The 21 building campus was once a rope manufacturer and now a creative playground for filmmakers, including Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, and Aaron Sorkin, as well as hundreds of artists. Bon Jovi shot three music videos here, 50 Cent six music videos. It's really a creative hub for the Northeast. People are starting to realize what we're doing here and they're coming. General Manager David Garcia took us through spaces that also serve as wedding venues. We figured within the next year or so we'd be doing about 600 weddings a year. The Art Factory is certainly one of Patterson's blockbuster businesses, but behind the scenes, the city's struggles remain. The mayor faces an ongoing opioid crisis and issues reintegrating formerly incarcerated residents back into society. He says he's slowly working to change the perception of Patterson and weave a different narrative for the once thriving Silk City. We're not trying to be Newark, we're trying to be, we're trying to be Patterson and, and the best Patterson we can be. Reporting in Patterson, New Jersey, I'm Katie Corrado, PIX11 News.